Hi guys, okay, so welcome to 31 Days of Tarot Day 5. <laughs> Today's prompt is, um, what tarot card stalked you in 2018? So I was really thinking about that because there was like one or two towards the end of the year. I gotta say like the beginning of the year. I don't remember what was stalking me. But I'm gonna take my golden writer to show you guys which which card so let's get have a seat here so i had two um two cards that were really stalking me i want to say like the last um the last part of the year like i said i don't remember what was stalking me in the beginning of the year um but let's look in this and see. And now this is based on, um, what's it called? Um, based on the, the major arcana. Because the minor arcana, I don't pay too much attention to. I'm looking for my last one. <laughs> Like the minor arcana, you know, stuff will pop up every once in a while, but <clears throat> the majors are the ones that I pay most attention to if one is stalking me. Okay. So, the beginning more so, like the middle, like around the summer, I was getting a lot of the hermit. He was popping up so much and I ended up using the card um, from another deck as a bookmark because he kept popping up so much for me. I love the Hermit. I think Hermit energy is so me. <laughs> um, I am a Cancer Moon, so my emotions are super out there. I am super sensitive. Um, and so the Hermit card is like sentimental to me for that. But he was coming up a lot during the summer season. Um, I wanna say a lot of times, like because I, I had a, a major loss, a couple years back um, yeah. losing my bro and that happened all in the summer that a lot of times now like the last two years the summer season is very sentimental to me um, because of that so I feel like maybe that's why I was noticing hermit card more because it was kind of just like a reminder for me to go inward um, I notice a lot of times too, the hermit will pop up for me when I'm not lis listening to my intuition. So usually when he pops up, it's a, it's a reminder to me to, um, tap in, touch, touch, touch base with myself within. Usually like the high priestess would do that too, but she doesn't pop up that much for me. <clears throat> um, it's usually the hermit. So he was popping up a lot like around the summertime. And I, it was it was weird. It was like he was coming up in posts. He was coming up um, a lot in the readings for clients, but he would stick out to me personally. Um, so I don't know if you guys ever have that experience as readers um, when you're reading for your clients, if a certain card will stick out to you, even though it has nothing to do with you. You're doing a reading for someone else, but the card for some reason will speak to you. So that's what was going on there. Um, and then towards like the end of the year, this was like close to when my husband and I were starting to um, house hunt, which was in October. The Fool card was popping up a lot. And um, now that I look back on it, I feel like the, the Fool card popping up so much was kind of a gentle reminder from Spirit to tell me to keep going for it, to just keep doing it, to not stop, you know, because hubby and I had been planning buying a house for two years where we saved up money and we paid off debts and stuff, you know? So I feel like it was like when we were actually starting to look for a house, there were times where we were like, well, maybe we should wait a few extra months and see how much more money we can save. And the full card kept popping up. And then I was also, um, now that I think about it, around this time when I was seeing him a lot, um, I was having those 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 like rushed anxiety feelings like those emotions so i feel like the full energy was kind of just a reminder to you sometimes you have to just dump dump jump for it you just have to dive um not even knowing you know how you're going to get through it and you figure it out after the fact and i think that that was a big lesson for me and my husband because 
we are very, him and I are both really similar in the way that we conduct big giant like moves and, and big things like big decisions him and I are very similar which I, I love that about us because um it means we're on the same page but we are both major planners and sometimes we're almost too cautious and so I feel like with the full card popping up um it was just a gentle reminder a little push to keep going keep the momentum <laughs> um so that was popping up a lot especially around like October time and then towards the end, even into the present, I am seeing a lot of the devil. <laughs> um, the devil has been popping up a lot in December for me. And even to the present, um, he actually popped up in one of the Pisces readings that um, one of my favorite psychics was doing. So last night I was watching the Pisces reading for, um, for 2019. And of course, the devil was like one of those one of the cards and I was just like laughing when she was describing his energy and I was just like yeah that's totally like how I feel um so the way I'm registering the devil is it's, it's almost like okay now that you got what you want you're you have to still work hard to maintain it and I feel like I, I, le I feel like at least that's like an intuitive message of what I'm thinking that means for me I'm also seeing the devil card as a reminder for myself to um, not forget about my own personal struggles, my own personal um, things that I want to change about myself, okay? So I feel like, you know, as far as, far as like being healthy, um, paying attention to the foods that I'm eating or how much I am consuming, you know, I don't want to get like, I don't want to say like, you know, starting a diet or weight loss because to me, it's like, I just feel like that sounds so like a quick fix. Whereas I'm not looking for a quick fix. I'm looking for a lifetime change. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what this devil card is. So that's why he's coming up so much for me is because <laughs> it's a reminder of like, I still have some strings attached to old habits or old cycles. And just because I'm living in a new place in my own house, just because I obtained this huge goal that we've been fighting for for the last two years, doesn't mean that it's over. And so I feel like he's coming in as a reminder to that. At least that's the way I am interpreting it. Um, but that is basically the three cards that I can think of off the top of my head <laughs> that were um, really stalking me. Um, at least from, like I said, from the summer to the present. Um, but the devil card is very much highly stalking me right now. So, and I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid of it. I, I don't, I'm not afraid of the devil card. I embrace the devil card. I see him as just like a gentle, a reminder that we still have skeletons to deal with. If we still have skeletons in the closet or if we still have like, you know, things to deal with. Just because everything else on the outside appears to be good doesn't mean that on the inside it isn't, you know? So it's like a reminder to understand, like to remember that there's still a shadow to everything. To Even to the brightest sunny day, there's still a shadow. So that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> so that concludes today's um, tarot prompt. And I will be with you guys tomorrow to do day six. And comment below, tell me. Like, I don't know if you guys are doing the challenge or not. Um, but if you are, let me know so I can look at your videos and subscribe to your channels. Um, but if you're not doing the prompts, at least tell me what tarot card has been stalking you, whether it's throughout 2018 or in the present. Let me know what's been stalking you. Or if you want to share with me, what do you think the devil card means for me? <laughs> I would like to hear your guys' opinions. Um, so anyways, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow when we do day six and have a beautiful rest of your Saturday. Bye, my loves.